Aside from the timer interrupts, the 8051 can be interrupted externally by external source using INT0 and INT1. These pins are tied to port 3.2 and port 3.3 and can be activated by edge triggering and level triggering. The lower four bits of the TCON register holds the registers of interest IT0, IE0, IE1 and IT1. IT0 and IT1 will tell the microcontroller if it will detect on low level or falling edge, the latter is set by hardware if an interrupt occurred and cleared when the interrupt is processed. To demonstrate, a simple example of external interrupt programming is shown. If a falling edge is detected, we toggle a LED. But let's make it more practical. Many of us have this kind of remote lying around. This remote controls output NEC protocol. Other remote controls protocols include JVC, Sony and others. The NEC IR protocol is encoded in 32-bit format. A logic 0 is a 562.5 microseconds pulse burst followed by a 562.5 microseconds space with a total transmit time of 1.125 milliseconds. A logic 1 is a 562.5 microseconds pulse followed by a 1.6875 milliseconds space with a total transmit time of 2.25 milliseconds. When a key is pressed, a 9 millisecond leading burst will be sent, followed by a 4.5 millisecond space, then the address will be transmitted, followed by the logical inverse of the address. A total of 27 milliseconds, then the command and the logical inverse of the command will be sent, also 27 milliseconds. For this demo, we will be using an AT89C2051, the smaller brother of the AT89S52 but they have the same core. We have connected a TSOP38238IR receiver to the INT0 pin of the microcontroller and three LEDs at port 1. Each LED will be toggled by three different buttons on the remote control. For the software side, we set timer 0 mode 1 to interrupt every millisecond and INT0 to falling edge interrupt. The first two transitions will be ignored, they signify the start of frame, after this the continuously 32-bit information will be captured to a variable. If the pulse width is greater than 2 millisecond, it will be considered as logic 1, 0 otherwise. To know the value of each button, we first dump the captured values to the serial port. Kale project files can be found at the description below.